this weekend with over 100 free tours, events and workshops plans. It's all organised by the Irish Architectural Foundation who want the public to explore the rich architecture of the city. Our reporter, Ashing Mirden, joins us now from the Blackrock Further Education Institute and Blackrock Library. Hi Keelan, yes this is one of the buildings that will be on view to the public over the weekend. In a moment I'm going to get a bit of a tour but first I'm going to chat to Natalie Wadick who is Director of the Irish Architecture Foundation. Natalie, it's a big weekend for you guys, tell me what's happening. Yeah, this is a great weekend for us. Um, the role of the Irish Architecture Foundation is to bring people closer to architecture and Open House is our biggest flagship um, project we do every year and it, it brings people closer to architecture so brilliantly. I mean it's very simple and it's very powerful just by opening up buildings that aren't normally open to the public and by giving tours of the architecture of the design of the construction it really has an impact on the public and their appreciation of generally of design and architecture so we're expecting lots of crowds this weekend last year we had something like I don't know 27,000 visits over the three days which is remarkable and uh, this year we expect a lot more um, so the program is very very diverse Yes, now there's something in there for everybody, um, for adults and children. Tell me um, what is on offer. Well, basically, we have a whole diverse programme, buildings that are old or new, are contemporary, are heritage, everything for anybody. And the, the most important thing is that the um, whole programme is free. Um, so we have a selection of new architects. Um, we have a house in, um, designed by Dominic Stevens, by um, uh, an artist's house. We have um, just across the road from here, actually, if you go to here on Saturday, we have um, a coffee shop called Bear Market Cafe which is designed by a young practice as well. So with Open House we try and showcase younger practices as well as um, also including our heritage, our Georgian architecture. This year we have one of the oldest houses, interiors, um, that is still standing in Dublin in the programme. So basically for, for the, a very general audience it's, it's a great programme for, for the whole family. Thank you very much Natalie for that. No problem. Now we can run up the steps here and we're going to meet one of the architects who designed um, the new part of this building so they've merged the old with the new and it's Ruth O'Hurley who's director with McCullough Mulvey, Mulvey Architects. Tell me a bit about um, the build. Well this building uh, we've had a, a long love affair with this building since we started working on it um, about uh, 16 years ago and it's uh, the old um, uh, Carnegie Library and the VEC building which has been um, transformed into this new education institute and public library for, uh, for Blackrock and we have we're moving now into the old part, new part of the building from the from the from, from the from the the old part and you can see this is a new atrium here that we have where um, all the time interested in bringing new things together with old and making a series of really enlivened uh, spaces for education and um, these students all now have a, a really exciting place uh, to, to learn. Tell me a bit about uh, the atrium here. Yes, the, we have, we have uh, the building is oriented around two uh, courtyards. One is open uh, to the sky and in kind of filled, filled it's up, up over there, filled with a series of intense fer ferns. And that's analogous to the idea of the mountains. And then this space is, um, is, is, is the other courtyard, which allows the building to be lit and to breathe. And it's about the sea. So on the floor here, we have a series of uh, a photograph of shells from Dublin Bay that has been printed onto the vinyl and that was done in that was done in the Netherlands to give uh, to give this idea of the of the two different spaces and each of these uh, courtyard spaces rub up against the up against the old uh, the old part of, of the building which is something that we as a practice are very interested in uh, bringing life to old buildings and making them relevant for use today in a way that um, transforms them and it's it's all about radical conservation and bringing um, Bringing people close to materials and thinking about, we have there's a chimney uh, in the in the in the library that was that was um, discovered during the build, and we've exposed the, the old flue of the chimney in the wall. So when you go into the library, you can see that. And there are another, there is a kind of a series of clues around the building, or kind of funny moments where um, we encourage people to stop and actually think about where they are and what the building is, what the building is saying, or what the, what the you know what, where where you're engaging with the new and the old. Some views from the new part of the building into the old and all the time just, I suppose, allowing people to appreciate the, 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 appreciate the, kind of the, the interest that there is in putting things together. 
Brilliant. Thank you so much, Ruth, for that, and congratulations on the, the new, merging the new with the old. Um, so if you want to find out more information about this building and also the other 100 buildings that are on the programme, you can go to the website www.openhouse.com. Back to you in studio, Keaton.